Our next guest is a two-time Emmy-nominated actress who plays mom to the legendary Williams sisters alongside the Fresh Prince in King Richard. If you're not the only dreamer in this family, wouldn't be no dream if it wasn't for me. I carried them inside me and on my back. And I carried you, too. I'm working two shifts so I could put food on your table. That open stance, you got that from me. Oh, you did that? Oh, OK. And I fixed Serena's serve because you messed that up. You did what? Yes, I fixed that toss because you messed it up. Mm -hmm. I'm here. I've been here dreaming and believing just like you. Mm -hmm. You just don't want to see me. King Richard opens in theaters. And on HBO Max starting tomorrow, please welcome Anjanou Ellis. I mean, that is a spectacular dress. It really is like a piece of art. Thank you. I wanted to look nice. Well, you succeeded. Thank you. Thank How are you doing? I'm all right. You are so great in this movie. I mean, it is. How many peanut butter sandwiches did you make uh, a for lot. that scene? A lot of them. Right? A lot. <laughs> I, I just saw that clip, and I was just like thinking, like uh, that day, like peanut butter, peanut butter, <laughs> bread, 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 sweet peanut butter, peanut butter. The way you operated thing. the knife, though, it really seemed like a mad mom, you know? Exactly. It really did. How much did you know about uh, Serena and Venus and their upbringing before you got involved in this? Well, just like everybody, mm -hmm. you know, um, seeing them. You know, I saw this great 60 Minutes episode years and years ago. I remember uh, that. Yeah, yeah, you remember right. that. Yeah. yeah, and they interviewed them, and I saw these, like, two girls with beads in their hair, and they're interviewed their father, and I just th remember thinking, you know, what's gonna happen to these girls, you know? And then, years later, I see them at Wimbledon. Yeah, you right. You know, exactly. And everything that Mr. Williams said would happen to those girls happened. It's really, I mean, it seems fake. It seems like a story someone wrote when you yes. see how he visualized this from the very beginning, from, he said, before they were born, even. Yeah. And what I didn't know, though, is that their mother, I mean, obviously, I knew their mother was involved in their upbringing. I didn't know their mom was involved in their tennis playing. Like, she actually was out there, especially with Serena, uh, spending a lot of time teaching her to play tennis. Yes, exactly. I mean, when I was preparing for the role, I do what all actors do when they are preparing for the role. They go to Wikipedia. Uh -huh. <laughs> and... Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I got my... to do my research, and uh, she... they said that she was a coach, and I had a total cynical response to that. I'm like, you know, you're a doting mother in the stands clapping for your kid, but that does not make a coach. Right. And then I started working on the film, and I found out that she was as much their coach as Mr. Williams was their coach. He would be on one side of the court, and Miss Orsine would be on the other side of the court. You play tennis in the movie, and it looks mm -hmm. like you're pretty good. Were you a tennis player before this? No, no, no. No. I was you learned for this? I, was, I have to say, you know, this is the biggest job I've ever had in my life, you know? And I oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, working with this big movie star, you know, and big studio movie, and I gotta say, you know, I thought that I would have, you know, like a body double or someone, uh, you know, come on and do all that right. stuff for me. Yeah. Because it's a big studio movie, you yeah. know what I'm right. saying? Right, sure. <laughs> but no. No. <laughs> you asked for that? <laughs> no, and... I didn't, you oh. know? But I, I was hoping. Yeah, right, I yeah. I was hoping, but that didn't happen. I had to do all that myself. Did you fall in love with the game in any way while you're training? <laughs> It's okay if the answer is no. The answer I mean, is no. And the answer is no. Okay. I mean, I'm not a tennis fan, but I am a Venus and Serena fan. I see. That? that makes sense. Now, speaking of this big movie star, this big movie star is Will Smith. Yes. Who, uh, besides being uh, a nice guy and a very talented guy, seems like he would be a fun person to work with every day. Yeah, he is. I mean, he comes on, he comes on set and he just he just makes everyone relax, mm -hmm. you know, and you think big movie star, big superstar that he would be, you know, a little unapproachable, but he is the opposite. He's a big kid. 
and he made those girls feel like they were so welcome. And, you know, we, a big ice cream truck came down the street one day and we were like, oh, we want ice cream. The next thing we know, Will Smith is like chasing the ice cream truck. We're like, and then we get ice cream, you know, and, you know, <laughs> then the next, I mean, he just, he's just the most generous person. One day, one night, you know, he gave us iPhones. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm serious. And there, I got this. Uh, he showed up with iPhones. Yes. Yeah. Just gave out iPhones one night. <laughs> really? It's like working with Santa Claus a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, he's like when he's here on our show. It's like during the commercials, he's out and he takes the microphone and he's rapping and he's like goofing around with the audience, and I'm just sitting here like a slug at my desk. Yeah. Yeah. He can make you look bad. <laughs> he can make you bad. <laughs> I asked Serena uh, when, when she was here, there's a scene in the movie where Richard, your husband in the film, uh, breaks wind during a business meeting and yes. in, in an um, obnoxious way. Sure. And she, I asked if she, that happened, and she pleaded the fifth, and she said, I can't, I can't say if it happened or not, which may, led me to believe that it happened. Do you know if it happened? <laughs> Well, luckily, I'm not under that, you know, family agreement. That's right. You, know? you are not. So I can say yes. It did happen. It did happen. Uh -huh. It did happen. And I, I love it. I'm not, I mean, I love it. It was, <laughs> it was his way of saying the meeting is over. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you know, the, the movie comes out tomorrow. Already, you're said to be an Oscar t contender. <laughs> you know? so. Yeah. And I, I think you, I mean, I will be shocked if you are not nominated for an Oscar for this movie. I mean, you really seem like, uh, I think when Serena was here, I said to her during the commercial, I said, was that really your mom? <laughs> <laughs> no, but she said it was like w weird to see her mom on, on camera. And how important is it to get the details of someone none of us know right as an actor? Right. Particularly with Miss Oracine, I felt that she was someone that everyone saw in the stands at Wimbledon, at the U.S. Open, you know, with those beautiful shades on, kind of a mystery figure that was there clapping for Venus and Serena. But no one really knows her story, you know? And I just love that, that all these filmmakers came together, our director, Will, and they said, we want to tell the truth about this woman. And I, I just love the idea that it's not, it's the story of King Richard, right? But it's also the story of this family and this woman who did everything for her family. So I'm really excited about that. Well, you, you don't see those stories all the time. You did a fabulous job, really, in the movie. Uh, it's called King Richard. Go see it in theaters and uh, or at home on HBO Max starting tomorrow. Anjanu Ellis, everybody. We'll be back with Alessia Cara. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is The Internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.